Before Disney purchased Marvel Studios, their attempts at tackling the superhero genre didn't exactly go the way they thought it would. The Rocketeer was one of their earliest attempts, and was pretty ahead of its time, and was really good in my opinion, but it didn't become the franchise starter that Disney was hoping for. However, another Disney superhero movie ahead of its time was Sky High. It's managed to become a huge cult classic over the years, and for good reason. And there actually were plans for a sequel to be made immediately after the first one. So, what if it had been made? That's it. The idea for Sky High originally began as a live-action adaptation of Kim Possible that would have been written by the show's creators Mark McCorkle and Bob Shuley. They would write their film treatment in between seasons 1 and 2 of the show. However, this movie ended up being cancelled for unknown reasons. However, it would be this script that would convince Disney to allow the pair to come work on a movie they had been developing about a high school full of young superheroes. The movie ended up being called Sky High, and this project had been cancelled and uncancelled again for quite a long time. In the end, we would be blessed with Sky High in the summer of 2005, and it's been deemed by many to be one of the most underrated superhero movies of all time. For those unfamiliar with the movie, it tells the story of a 14-year-old boy named Will Stronghold, who begins his high school tenure at a school called Sky High, which literally floats in the sky, and houses the sons and daughters of superheroes, and looks to train them into the next generation of heroes and sidekicks. Now, Will happens to be the son of two famous superheroes named the Commander and Jetstream, but despite this, he seems doesn't have any powers of his own, at least not at first, so Will has to learn to fit into this school of young supers and make some unlikely friends along the way while battling an old villain once fought by his parents. The movie was forced to compete at the box office with Tim Burton's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It earned considerably good reviews from critics, and managed to more than double its budget at the box office. Usual rule of thumb in Hollywood dictates that if a movie is able to double its budget, then a sequel is pretty much inevitable, and sure enough, a sequel was indeed planned. This movie would have been called Save You, and taken place nearly four years after the events of the first movie. We see that all of the main characters have recently graduated, and are now attending a college made for superheroes called Save University, or Save You for short. We'd see how well Will and Layla have fared as a couple, and we'd see how developed Will and Warren's friendship has become. Now who the villain would be is sadly unknown, although I imagine potentially that Mary Elizabeth Winstead's royal pain may have returned to exact revenge for the events of the first film. Now it should also be worth noting, however, that apparently every actor from the first movie, apart from Kurt Russell and Kelly Preston, had apparently signed contracts which would have allowed them to return for a sky-high TV show to air on the Disney Channel. I imagine this show would have bridged the gap between the ninth grade and freshman year of college, and likely would have taken place entirely at the school. Sadly, however, both the sequel and the show were cancelled by Disney due to the first movie not making as much as they hoped. You see, the first movie was made on a $35 million budget and managed to gross a total of $86 million, which as I said, was more than double its budget, however, that was still far less than Disney was expecting. They want their own superhero franchise in order to rival Spider-Man and the X-Men, and Sky High seemingly was not going to be that franchise. Now, for years since, rumors have circulated that Mike Mitchell, director of the first film, will return to direct the sequel. However, I'm not entirely sure if it'll ever happen, considering that Disney now owns Marvel Studios, who've absolutely cornered the superhero movie market, which may convince them that an unassociated project is unnecessary, although Disney Plus does provide them with an opportunity to continue the franchise without having to worry about the box office, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. So what do I think of this Sky High 2 proposal, or Save You as it is? Honestly, okay, so I'm a huge, huge fan of Sky High. It was one of my favorite movies as a child. I watched it endlessly at my dad's house. He can vouch for that. Um, but, okay, so I don't know how well a sequel would do, mostly because, you know, I don't like the time skip. And I know they were planning to do a show, but if the show didn't happen and they just went right for the movie, I think it would just be too long of a skip, honestly. 
because that's four years almost of you know story wasted you know what i mean i think there's so much more that they could explore in those four years and i wouldn't want them to skip that far ahead honestly if they were doing a show i would i would relax on that a little bit but i'm assuming the show probably wouldn't happen because if they greenlit sky high 2 then it would have been like barely greenlit like they probably would have been like okay we'll give you one more chance to bring this franchise back around so i don't think they would want a tv show honestly um you know the only way i can imagine them making both the show and you know save you is if sky high one made like 200 million dollars or something like that which obviously it didn't even come close to so but a sequel would be pretty interesting because well you know it would be really cool to actually see will and warren being friends because will says that warren has become his best friend at the end of the first movie we don't really get to see that they're mostly enemies in the first movie and it would have been really cool to see more of that friendship explored it also would have been really cool to explore will and layla's relationship because layla was firmly in the friend zone for most of sky high one and it would have been interesting to see how they you know interact with uh, as a couple instead of you know as just friends it would it would have been really interesting in my opinion not to mention the fact that if they were doing the sequel at a completely different location they would have to bring in a bunch of new actors and it'd be really cool to see what other powers they could come up with and you know what other big name actors they could bring in you know the first movie had a stacked cast you know it had you know linda carter it had um it had kurt russell it had kelly preston it had tom kenny bruce campbell you know all these huge names uh you know from the past and it would have been really cool to see who else they got you know for the sequel it would have been really cool like maybe they would have gotten adam west or something like that that would have been really cool um you know i i just think that that's a you know a possibility um if christopher reeve was still alive i would have said he could have been in it that would have been really cool um but uh yeah or maybe they could have michael keaton make an appearance i don't know but like the the possibilities are endless is what i mean and yeah as i said i love sky high one i definitely don't think that they should have ended it with just one movie i think there was more story to tell even though the the first movie did end on a pretty definitive note i do think there was more story to be told you know more powers to be seen it would have been really cool to actually see will become a proper hero and not just you know a hero at school that would have been really cool to see as well and mary elizabeth winstead you know as royal pain i thought she was really cool but she didn't get to be royal pain enough in my opinion so if the plan was to have her break out of prison and come back for revenge i think that would have been cool because then we could have seen more of her as a bad guy instead of just as you know a mean girl which is what she was for the majority of the first movie so yeah there's a lot of potential with sky high 2 would it fare well at the box office probably not and not just because the first movie didn't do that well but also because it's not called sky high 2 it's called save you and honestly i think most people would probably not know it's a sequel i think most people would be a little confused by that title honestly not to mention as i said i think the time skip would be a little bit jarring you know and they would have to get rid of all these actors that i'm sure a lot of people you know saw the first movie because they wanted to see them so i can't say for sure if sky high 2 would have been a bigger success than the first movie but my money is on probably not at least in my opinion but let me know in the comments down below what you think of the sky high 2 or save you as well as the sky high tv show i want to hear all about your opinions in the comments down below also please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share with all of your friends and all your various social media platforms and speaking of social media don't forget to follow me on instagram rinsler underscore productions and i'll see all of you in the next video